video uh, that's gone viral today on social media from Mark Goldbridge. Let's take a little listen. Is it time to beware of Chelsea? Because I tell you what, you look at the league table, three points off the top, fifth in the league. I look at that Chelsea side. Yeah, look, I wouldn't have sacked Poch. I wouldn't have got rid of Conor Gallagher. But bottom line is, Maresca has come in. They've got a definitive style of play. They've got probably, arguably, the best squad in Europe. Like, I mean, I think they've got a better squad than Man City. They're not a better team. They're not won as, run as well as Man City. But squad-wise, they've got an absolute wealth of players. And Maresca, probably building on what Poch had at the end of the season, a bit of momentum, has got them into a system. You look at that performance against West Ham last week. I think for me, the penny dropped at that game. I thought what they did away to Wolves was good. I thought the Bournemouth game, they rode the storm and got the three points. But against West Ham, in a game that they didn't dominate, it was quite equal, they were clinical and they were away from home. If they were to get top four, I think it would be a fantastic season. If you wanted Yeah, to... I think I think for me, I think our attacking depth is probably better than theirs, to be fair. But overall, I still think they've got a better squad because I, I like I, I rate their bench, you know, um, and their eleven is is better than ours. You know, they're the best team in, in the world, arguably. So I, I still think that we're we're probably behind them. Like I said, I think we're the second best, we've got the second best squad. In my opinion, um, Arsenal fans ain't gonna want to hear that, but you know they've got a 22 man squad. They've got the smallest squad in the league. They've got older guard that's gone down now, like I said before, and they're starting to panic already. For me, obviously Palmer's a main player, but if Palmer was to go down for whatever reason, I've got many options I can play there, Terry. You know, what I'm saying I've got Dusbru who I can play there. I've got you know Felix I can play there. I've got Nkuku I can play there. I've got even if you wanted to play Sancho down the middle, I can play him there as well. You know, um, we've got two players for pretty much every position, and like Staffy said. We, we, we literally put out a Premier League team the other day and made 11 changes, right? That team is good enough to play in the league, what we played the other day, and that's our B team, you know? So for me, yeah, City, I still think they've got a better squad, but I think we've probably got the second best squad in the league right now. The, the, the thing is, though, and I'm going to be honest with you, you're just still thin on a couple positions. You don't have a backup left back that I rate. Cucurella, listen, I used to rate Cucurella before he was rated. So I'm happy that he's uh, he's getting his flowers. You know that. Remember oh, that, that, that. Vega, bro. Who? Vega. Vega's come in and done a solid job. I thought he was a midfielder. No, no, no. Vega came in as a left back, but he can play in midfield as well. Oh, so I'm see, saying he started against. Um, <laughs> Scott is too big that I don't know everyone. He, but, he started against Bournemouth in midfield. You're right, but he's 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 a left back with a left side. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Your centre back sister, I don't think you have a lot of good partnerships there. You have a couple decent ones, but I, I, I don't rate your center backs like that. Obviously, the right back, you're good, even though Reese James is never available. You know, I hear where you're coming from. I know it's going to rattle a few fans, you know, before we even switch the streams. I already saw a couple super chats got, that got lost now over there. People were calling you out for saying that. So I'm expecting, expecting them to attack you again right now, you know. But I do hear, I'm not going to lie, it is going to piss off some Arsenal fans, but their squad is very small, very small. And their back line is probably the best thing about them. Their midfield and their front line, especially. Don't even get me started with that front line, you know. But I, I, I hear it, I see it, but like Maresca is gonna have to do a lot this season with them. Like he's doing a good job so far, and mm -hmm. I think he's gonna have to do a lot to prove it because you do have a lot of depth, especially in the front line. You know. Yeah. I'm not gonna make any bold claims. I'm not gonna say anything. But if it if it does continue the way you guys are moving right now, you will be vindicated at the end of the season because the football you're playing so far has been good. No one talks about Caicedo, by the way. Caicedo's been amazing, and no one talks about him. You know, even yeah. I last season was saying, no, Rice is better than him based on just the season he was having. But I always rated Caicedo more than Rice. I just couldn't rate him for what he did last season. <clears throat> he was good. He, he was good. Him now. That's the thing. He had a slow start. Say, look at him now. He's been very good, and no one talks about it. Like, Caicedo mm. is, is outplaying Rice at the moment. He's out yeah, but that's the thing, though. You, 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 you even had Chelsea fans who didn't want to talk up their players because of where we were in the position. It's like, no, no, I can't talk about us because we're eighth right now. No, 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 I can't talk about our players that are performing because we're ninth right now. That's yeah, the problem. Some people don't get football like that, Don, and this is why that pisses me off. Like, when United finished eighth, I, I, I don't want to talk about United. I'm just going to use that as a quick example. Yeah. When United finished eighth last season, I didn't think we're the eighth best team in the league. I thought we were better than that. I thought we were eighth because of our manager, because mm -hmm. he managed to make everyone look bad. So sometimes you can't really judge every individual by where the team stands. Because in right. that case, it's like, is Havertz the best? Is the second? Is, is Havertz the second best striker in the league because his, his team finished second? I don't really think you could say that. So I can't really judge everyone by the position. But we, we got to be honest. Everyone who was was just saying, 
oh, it, Putz shouldn't be sacked. Putz shouldn't be sacked. I was running with that for a while too, but I understood if Putz got sacked, he would have deserved it. He got sacked, and they're playing good football. People need to go back on their word. I'm seeing a clip surfacing of Igal and, and Hassem saying Wolves has a better squad than Chelsea. That's just absolute stupid. 11, 11 as well. Yeah, that's stupid. You can never say that. Last season, I said this. I said, I don't know how good this Chelsea team is. Because I was like, as a collective unit, I've never seen them finish in a top four, uh, top four race. Because I've never seen it. Like, I actually haven't seen it. So I was like, I think they are. But I don't know if they are because I haven't seen it. I was like, they need to go and prove it. You guys, what, finished sixth? So you kind of improve it towards the end of the season. But to say, like, Wolves is better than them, I'm not going to lie. Wolves is, is one of the worst takes I've ever seen on football. No, yeah, that ass. This that whole team, by the way, this one, not the one that had three, four years ago when they were actually so solid defensively. Mm -hmm. The thing, this Wolves team is better than Chelsea. It shows me one of two things: you're either being stupid on purpose, or you just don't know what you're talking. About. No, do you know? What? I don't think. If it, uh, do you know what? I, I get what you're. I don't think it's even stupid on purpose. It was crazy hating on Chelsea. Now I've criticized some things to do with Chelsea, more to do with problems with the ownership and the arguing. Um, the mistakes have made so far. If people go back and look at what I said about most of your signings this summer. Very impressive. The only one I kind of questioned was the sort of change of direction towards Yao Felix. But actually, it looks like it's, been, it, it's a good deal, to be fair, because he looks he's looking very good so far in a Chelsea shirt. But the one thing I, I feel this is proven, and this is, again, where a lot of Chelsea fans thought I sort of turned on Chelsea, which wasn't necessarily true. I praised them where they needed praising. But one thing me and Don agreed on thoroughly last season is one of the biggest issues they had on the field of play was the manager. And I think Maresca is proof that Poch as a head coach was also a problem. Yes, they needed the summer transfers they went and bought. They bought some more, some older players, some more experienced players, more creativity. They've raised the bar in overarching quality. But at the same time, generally speaking, Maresca is drilling the team well, playing people in their natural positions, and he's rewarding... With, he's rewarding the starting positions with meritocracy. So if you play well, you get more opportunities. You remember, Poch was playing Chilwell as a left winger. Levi Colwell is playing as a centre-back now. Kukurea did start to improve last year as well, by the way, but he is back to his best at Brighton. He's getting the best out of Caicedo, who, again, in the West Ham game, just watch this guy. Good passing range, yes. Yeah, very, very good on the ball, good touch, very good passer. But it's his ability to win the ball back that just impresses me. And it gives me Kante vibes. Watching him, maybe it's watching him in the Chelsea shirt as well. It's Kante-esque. It's just he covers every blade of grass. It's amazing. But I think that the appointment of Moresca has been so good so far. Because no club is built. Most modern day clubs are not built in the image of their manager. They have a, a club-based plan. But you need the right head coach to, in, to bring the best out of everybody. And he is doing that impeccably yep. impeccably impeccably well at Chelsea and there's a long way to go for this side but I'm just my gut feeling I saw Goldbridge do a video on this and we played it on the stream that, that broke down earlier on today but that was from a wider video where he said that Chelsea worry me I think that's Mark Goldbridge's attempt of uh, a scary video um, <laughs> but but like all jokes aside I'm looking at Chelsea and feeling worried as a rival I'll, I'll always praise teams that deserve it I'll never be bitter but as a rival fan I've just got a feeling that this is the beginning. And I, I I said this last week and I'll say it again. By the end of this season, we're going to look at you as a team that's good enough and consistent enough to challenge for a title next year. Maybe not win it, but yeah. challenge. I, I think your progression is going to be quite rapid this year where anyone today that's going, nah, they see, get, they're going to do the whole, it's been five games. It hasn't because this is not a manager rebuild. This is a club rebuild. You can't, you have to look at wider data than just what the last five games have done. You have to go further back. And you were improving under Poch, just not massively enough. Certain players were getting better even under him. You just improved the head coach. And he's getting... Uh, yeah, this is going to be rapid progression from Chelsea this year, I think, to a uh, point honestly, where if I come April and May, people are going to say, next season, another good summer window, Chelsea are in the title race. That's the thing, though. Go on, Stampy, go on, Stampy, bro. Now, I was going to say, you, you know why, why um, I agree with you there, Terry? The, the the last two seasons with Chelsea, there was too much chopping and changing. Whereas, like when you look at the difference between last year and this year, some of the players that were injured are now actually available. Some of the players that weren't so good, they're actually looking better. Versus 
back then it was just like, oh, this play is not good. We just replaced them and we think it's going to work. But there was no proof. Whereas now you're actually seeing some of the players that didn't click, click this season. You've seen some of the players like Cole Palmer maintain, I wouldn't say maintain the same level, but maintain a very good level because he was scoring at a crazy rate. But he's still looking good. And he actually got moved to a different position. You've seen Caicedo, who was there all season, actually now look good. You, you have Cucurella, who was probably out of Poch's uh, plans in the beginning of last season when you guys almost sold him to us or loaned him to us. You're now so actually cool. do the whole inverted uh, inverted role for you guys. You're seeing Lavia back. You're seeing Nkunku finally being fit enough to play. And even though he's bagging hat-tricks against Barrow, well, I'd rather him bag a hat-trick against Barrow than be injured like last season for these type of games. Yeah. So when you say this, Terry, I actually agree with you. And there's one thing that really pisses me off. And I, I've been saying this for about two, three seasons now. I said Manchester City are so good that I want to be the next team up to when Pep leaves. Because we knew at some point Pep is going to leave. And there's very high rumors, very strong rumors, that he's going to leave next season. I am sick. When I look at Chelsea right now, I am sick that we were both in very similar positions, but they are preparing themselves to be the next man up, and we're nowhere near it. And this right. is why I'm angry. Because I don't think Chelsea's going to win the league next year. There may be a very serious team in, and compete for the league next year. We'll see what Maresca does. But I just know that they are more prepared for life after Pep but, but, but than Staffy, my just team to, is. And that's Staffy, why I'm just, sick. I get your point. But where, where I'll defend Man United in that conversation is, Clear Lake and this rebuild, they're going into their third season. So I understand that manager's going. No, no, that's not, that's not necessarily. An no, 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 just no, no, I, I see someone no, 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 I hear you. And that's, I'm, I'm kind of the same, but I'm also excited. I saw United fans kicking off yesterday. Why has Barada said they're aiming to win the 2028 Premier League? Why not? Why do you not want to win one before that? Well, of course they do, but you've got to listen to the wider things that Barada has said. Barada has stated that what, what Ineos don't want to do is go out and buy loads of superstars. So there's a spike of level win the league one year, but then have no consistency after that. To build to a team that can be consistent, it takes two or three years. As And Chelsea have made mistakes along the way. Some hires, some signings. The, you know, they've, had to, they've had to adjust and change. And I'm very aware that Ineos are also going to make mistakes. You could argue keeping Ten Hag is maybe their first one. All owners make... City's owners are amazing. We all say they're brilliant, right? Let's not pretend they haven't made mistakes in the transfer window. I'm sure they've hired people they wish they hadn't done. But I think that when you look at Chelsea... It's just starting. It's just starting to click. And I did see, I don't know what you. What...